Hi designers, welcome to SolidWorks Central. In this tutorial, we'll be modeling exercise seven step-by-step. Step. We'll use essential SolidWorks tools like extruded boss base, fillet, hole wizard, rib, mirror, extruded cut, and appearances to complete the design. You can find the technical drawing in the description below, and I recommend beginners try it themselves first before watching the full process. Let's get started. Open a sketch on the top plane. Activate the Center Rectangle tool. Draw a rectangle centered at the origin. Activate the Sketch Fillet tool. Set the fillet radius to 8 mm. Select the entire sketch and apply fillets to the corners. Right-click twice to confirm and exit the command. Activate the Smart Dimension tool. Set the horizontal line length to 94 mm. Set the vertical line length to 54 mm. Activate the circle tool. At one of the corner fillet centers, draw a circle. Select these two circles, hold down the control key and by dragging from the center, Copy them to the other corner centers. Select all the circles by holding Ctrl or Shift, then apply Make Equal to match their sizes. Reactivate the Smart Dimension tool and set the diameter of one circle to 8.5 mm. Make the other small circles equal as well. From the Features tab, activate the Extruded Boss Base command. Look at the Select Contours section. Select Contours lets you choose specific closed areas of a sketch to extrude, instead of using the whole sketch. For the bottom section, set the depth. In End condition, keep it as blind. Keep the depth value at 10 mm. Click OK to confirm. Go back to the previous Extruded Boss Base feature. Click on the sketch used for that feature. Activate the Extruded Boss Base command again. In the Select Contours section, choose the corner regions where we want to set a different depth. Keep the end condition as blind. Set the depth value to 12 mm. Click OK to confirm. Open a sketch on the right plane. Set the view to Normal to. Activate the Circle tool. Draw two circles. Now activate the Smart Dimension tool. Set the diameter of the larger circle to 50 mm. Set the diameter of the smaller circle to 38 mm. Set the distance between the circle center and the bottom of the part to 60 mm. Align the circle center vertically with the origin. Activate the extruded boss base command. In end condition, change blind to mid-plane. Set the depth value to 68 mm. Click OK to confirm. Open another sketch on the right plane. Activate the circle tool. Draw a circle from the center. Activate the Centerline tool. From the Search Commands box, activate Dynamic Mirror Entities. Dynamic Mirror Entities mirrors what you draw in real time across the selected centerline. Select the centerline as the mirror line. Activate the Line tool. In Dynamic Mirror Entities, 
the selected center line becomes the mirror line. Whatever you draw on one side is automatically mirrored to the other side. Activate the Trim Entities tool. Keep Power Trim selected. Trim away the extra lines. Now we have a rough sketch. Use Smart Dimension to add measurements and fully define it. The sketch is now fully defined. Select the outer circle. Use Convert Entities to project it onto the current sketch. Activate the Extruded Boss Base command. Keep the end condition as mid-plane. Set the depth value to 24 millimeters. Click OK to confirm. Enter the fillet command. Select full round fillet as the fillet type. Full round fillet creates a smooth, rounded transition by using three sets of faces, side one, center, and side two. Select the first side face, select the center face, select the second side face. This removes the flat center face and creates a full round fillet. Since we set the extrusion depth to 24 millimeters, the fillet is formed with a 12 millimeter radius, giving us a smooth, rounded transition. Click OK to confirm. Set the view normal to this face. Enter the hole wizard command. Set the hole type to hole. Keep the standard as ANSI metric. Set the type to drill sizes. Set the hole size to 11 millimeters. Keep the end condition as through all. Switch to the positions tab. Select the face where the hole will be applied. Place the hole at the center of the fillet. Press escape to finish placing the hole and exit the placement mode. The hole is placed correctly as intended. Click OK to confirm. Open a sketch on this face. Set the view to normal to. Activate the center rectangle tool. Draw the rectangle centered at the origin again. Activate the smart dimension tool. Set one side length to eight millimeters Set the other side length to 56 millimeters. Enter the extruded boss base command. This time, set the end condition to up to body. Up to body makes the extrusion stop when it reaches the surface of the selected body. Click OK to confirm. Open a sketch on the right plane one last time. Set the view to normal to. Activate the line tool. Align the line vertically. Activate the Smart Dimension tool. Set the vertical length of both lines to 20 millimeters. The sketch is now fully defined. From the Features tab, enter the Rib command. Click the arrow to flip the rib direction. Or activate Flip Material side to switch the direction. 
With both sides selected, the rib thickness is added equally to both sides of the sketch line. Set the rib thickness to 8mm, click OK to confirm. Enter the mirror command. In mirror plane, select the front plane from the feature manager tree. In features to mirror, select the rib we just created from the feature manager tree. Click OK to confirm. Finally, open a sketch on this face. Activate the line tool. Draw a vertical line passing through the center. Enter the extruded cut command. Activate thin feature. Thin feature allows you to use open sketches by giving them thickness so you can create a cut or extrusion from a single line. Set the thin feature type to mid-plane. Set the thickness value to 3 mm. Set the end condition to through all. Or set it to up to next. Click OK to confirm. Every part you model is a step forward and with regular practice in SOLIDWORKS, you'll become faster and more confident. So keep going and enjoy the process. Now, let's apply a simple colour to our part for a cleaner presentation. Feel free to experiment with different colour combinations. Don't forget, there are always different techniques to create the same part. For beginners, I recommend thinking about how else this model could be built so you can explore new approaches. And that's how we've completed our Exercise 7 design in SOLIDWORKS. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to SOLIDWORKS Central for more tutorials every week. Got any ideas for future videos? Drop them in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.